stop treating ChatGPT as a stranger. You would not ask a stranger to perform your most important tasks. You need to turn ChatGPT into a trusted assistant who knows you, who remembers all your prior instructions and is there 24 by 7 to make you look good. For the tens of thousands who have already enjoyed my videos, you already know me and my mission. For those of you who are seeing my videos for the first time, my name is Enrico. I'm an attorney representing technology companies, including AI companies. Every day, I harness the power of AI to supercharge my practice, delivering exceptional and cutting-edge service to my clients. But I'm not just here for them. I'm also here for you, too. And I'm committed to guiding you through the intricacies of AI helping you unlock the vast potential and ensuring that you are at the forefront of this technology revolution. So let's embark on this AI journey together. We are all in this together. Today, today we're going to be talking about customization. These tools like ChatGPT can be very general and give you some good general information, but that's not what you need. You need an assistant who knows who you are and what you need and is ready to execute those tasks on a dime. You need an assistant who already knows how to perform repetitive tasks without having to start from scratch. Today, we're talking about customization of ChatGPT assistant. So I need a favor. Like this video, share this video with other attorneys, judges, law clerks, paralegals. I am sharing this knowledge with you. I need you to pay it forward because we're all in this together. And at the end of this video, I'm going to add a power tip that will bring customization to the expert level. So make sure to watch to the end. All right, so pay attention. These are going to be quick. We're going to come back to these in later videos. We'll expand on them. But today, I just want you to see what you need to do and start playing around with it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to relabel your prompts. This is going to be really important for the next step that we're going to talk about in a second. So here's how you do that. You can see all of my prompts along the left here are labeled. If I start a new chat, ones that you're going to be reusing, you need to relabel them. So you can refer to them later. And you do that by go ahead and hit the, uh, hit the edit button, then go ahead and, and say, yes, I'm good. Click that check mark. There's your edit button. There's your check mark. And you can see I've got all of my prompts labeled here. Now, here's the key to that. You want to be able to re-trigger a more complex prompt. And remember, we've already discussed how important it is to make your prompts in a certain way to engineer them, to provide them context, tell them who you are, tell them who you're speaking with, for instance. And we did that in prior videos. But here is a prompt that I might want to reuse. I want you to help me draft an email, blah, blah, blah. In order to reuse this prompt, what I'm going to need to be able to do is save it. Icon right here, I can save and submit this. And basically what this means is that I can reuse it in the future. Now, I think ChatGPT is having a little bit of a problem today, but that's okay. You get the point. This little icon here, save and submit, and it will re-instigate -insti that, that instance, that prompt. ChatGPT doesn't have any memory. So if you save a prompt and come back to it the next day, it's not going to go up to the top and restart that prompt. You're going to have to reinstigate that prompt and you do that by saving and submitting it there. All right. So that's the first thing. Relabel your prompts. Now let's get to the next tip that's going to really help you power up your GPT. Bookmark your prompts. Bookmark your prompts. So how do you get to a prompt that you used two weeks ago? How do you remember where it is? The thread of prompts becomes extremely long, disorganized. There's no search function. You need to bookmark your best prompts. So you can see ChatGPT bookmarks. And let's go ahead and scroll that over. ChatGPT bookmarks here. And you can see here are the prompts that I tend to reuse every day. I've got it for AI learning, video insights plugin, where it will take a look at the, any video and give me a summary of that video. It's a prompt clarification if I'm trying to improve my prompts, marketing web when I'm doing some SEO, uh, marketing emails, email assist. You've seen that in prior videos, contract drafting. These are the particular prompts that I reuse every day. So you can see I could pull on that bookmark and 
boom, it's going to pull up the prior prompt that I have been using before. So you want to relabel your prompts that you're using repetitively. You want to get great prompt engineering on those prompts. Then you want to bookmark those prompts for future reference. This is the way you turn ChatGPT into a personal assistant that is stylized to you, that knows you, that you can repurpose again and again and again, that you don't have to redraft the prompt every single time you're going to do a specific task or you're going to ask your assistant to do a specific task. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tips. Every week, we're going to power you up so that you become the top 1% in your niche, in your company, in your law firm. You will understand how to use AI. And as you've already learned, it isn't AI that's going to replace you. It's professionals who know how to use AI better than you that are going to replace you. My name is Enrico. We'll see you next time.